Hey YouTube, since it's totally trendy to share face up videos and since I was given the opportunity to paint this mini bee RFA head owned by my friend One Little Orange, I thought it was a good chance for me to sort of record and share my process of painting this doll. I hope you'll enjoy it. So the first thing I do usually is to add black underneath the eyes. I think it's a good way to help start making the face look more complete and pulled together, even if it's something really simple. Then I'll start adding the preliminary blushing around the eyes and the tear ducts, the lips and the nose, anywhere that needs colour to make the face feel more alive without getting to the stage of applying makeup. After the base layers of more fleshy brown tones, I start going in with some more pink colours. This is for things like the inner eye, the lips, blush, nose, and this doll also has some pink on her eyes for makeup so I start building that as well. Not many people really like doing it, but I actually prefer to add a subtle blush to the chin. So then comes one of the hardest parts, which is drawing on the eyeliner. I start by going around the eyes, not bothering with the wing until I get the actual eye shape correct. And of course I say this and begin to do other things, because I never really do a face up in a particular order. I kind of play it by ear and do what feels right in the moment, and go around the face a lot to try and build as much colour and layers as possible. This particular doll gets white under the eye since Jill requested she have white eyeliner on her lower waterline. Then I start going in with the wings and of course it takes ages. I also start to add white pastel on top of a lot of the colours to make them look more made up and fake since she was supposed to look like she was wearing flesh tone makeup.
eyelash time the hardest part of the face up process in my opinion it is so hard to get them to look soft and fluffy and thin i think you can fake it a bit with eyebrows but eyelashes there is no room for error i also add some paint to the lips since it was supposed to look more like lipstick and less like naturally glossed lips Adding more layers to the eyeliner since the white pastels start dulling it. To start the brows, I make a shape out of pastel since I think the shape and the emotion is more important than the actual lines. Then you gotta try and make them match. Turning the head upside down can actually really help with trying to build symmetry. paint to add more lines around the eyes to make them have wrinkles. I think it makes dolls look more human and realistic and it's just something I prefer. I add lines to the eyebrows as well for the fibers and hair. Please ignore my new nails. I tend to layer eyelashes, especially if I want them to look made up instead of more natural. So I'll start with a nice soft brown and then just get increasingly darker with layers up to black as I make the doll look more made up. I use a wet q-tip to wipe off any paint that I don't like. Final layer of black paint over the eyeliner to really make it pop on top of the colors and there you have it sorry if this is a bit hard to watch i'm still trying to figure out the best spot for my camera while i'm painting dolls but i totally love how this face up came out and jill does as well so that's good she is super sparkly and her lashes came out lovely and delicate and i really think this is my best face up i've done so far let me know what you think do you like ducky's face up because i sure as hell do Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.